Nab, nab. What's the plan now, Stinger? I guess the same as always. We continue this forsaken journey to the beach. We're in the middle of the air, so how exactly are we going to do that? I do not know. Okay, sheesh, relax. It was just a question. I apologize. I'm just tired of all of this. Tired of what? Tired of everything. There is no point, man. What? I failed to locate a point in doing any of it. And I failed to locate an end in sight. What's gotten into you? Why are you so negative all of a sudden? Maybe it's time we abandon this plan. I mean, how did we end up flying over a sea of Jaipanian instead of an actual sea? Okay, that's it. Maybe you should let the captain fly the plane if this is your mentality. What are you doing? I am finished with your constant battle. It is always a mistake to start a conversation with you. <laughs> Stay back, we're gonna crash. Are you out of your non-existent mind? Morning, sleepy fellow. You should have kept sleeping. We're still waiting for the bus. Man, I'm so tired. Quit whining. You're not the only one. Maybe sleep for a bit like Opila. A bit? She's been sleeping for days. The boss is here. Finally. Ignore that. It's not my correct one. Aw oh, man. What are we even doing all of this? I don't want to go to the beach anymore. I just want to go back. We cannot. We must get to the beach. I will be frank. I did not know it would be this difficult to reach our destination. If it weren't for your infuriating actions, we would not be in this current predicament. Really, Stinger? My actions are your non-existent driving skill. I think Opila can drive better than you and she doesn't even have hands. You sure you want to do this again? Do what again? No need to get aggressive. Actually, I think now would be the time that we just go home. Do you have any idea how to get back from here? Well, no, but the captain and I could definitely figure it out. Right, captain? Captain? Another of us is here. No one wants to conversate with a being who is less useful than the seat they are sitting on. Get back here. This is the wrong bus too. The captain got kidnapped. What are we gonna do? I am thinking.
Nab, nab. We just lost two. This wasn't supposed to happen. We need to follow. Wait, is that the correct bus? Oh, hi. You're up again. You sure are a sleepy fellow. Agree. Grab some of the vegetable snacks we collected and eat. Oh, they're all finished. I already have consumed my share of the nutrients you have gathered while you were in your slumber. Me too. Sorry about that. I have never witnessed kindness coming from a spider before. Man, if Jumbo Josh was here, he would have loved those vegetables. I am pretty content that he's not gracing us with his irritating presence. Why do you hate him so much? Sure, he's got some anger issues, but overall he's pretty chill. We've had our fair share of altercations. Hate is... One of the two emotions I am unable to control. What's the second one? Sorrow. Not again. How is any being able to move past constant sorrow in a world like ours? Sometimes I feel like we're all just doomed forever. We each have our plans and goals, but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter. Nor can it undo the past or previous misery. Life is too short to be sad all the time, Stinger. Our lives aren't. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You know I'm not the best at this stuff. Maybe Nab Nab or the Captain can help. Captain? As expected. What's that sound? Lots of other creatures reside in this ecosystem. Could be anything. Yeah, but what kind of animal makes that sound? Help me! Feels like we've been in this car forever. So, Singer, when are we arriving at this place called Beach? I believe we are lost. Nice. You had one job and you messed that up somehow. I am struggling to locate the being who asked for your opinion. Can you at least put some music on since we're going to be out here for a while? That's what I'm talking about. Opila, what do you think about this? Awesome. Captain, what about you? Captain? Okay, decent answer. Can you stop vocalizing for just one second so I can focus on the road? What do you mean, focus on the road? We've been going in circles for hours. Never trust a jellyfish, am I right, Opila? If 
If your pathetic mouth utters another infuriating sentence, I will stuff your whole body in one of those stupid party hats on your head. Three birds with one stone. I get all of your key cards, I get the perfect specimen, and I don't have to deal with that thing down there. And it's all thanks to you. Oh, come on. I didn't hit you that hard. Or maybe I, I did. Either way, it's best you take a nap while I prepare for our little surgery. Welcome to my home. Or at least, what was supposed to be my home. Down in the dark and cold depths of the facility. The circumstances force you to do things that are out of your nature. When I feel that I'm straying too far off my original course, I head to the room I found me meditating in to mentally regroup. I come to this place, and then I am reminded that what I'm fighting for is worth all of this pain and suffering. Of course, none of this is good. I need the children to achieve that, but do not worry, I will practice the safest of procedures. Whatever I decide to do with the adults, I will make sure to keep one alive and sane so that the surviving children are delivered to surface. So I am giving you the chance to walk away. Take it. That way you won't lose both your life and the chances of your child. This is all happening because of you. Never convince yourself otherwise. If you hadn't intervened with my plan or the Queen's, you'd be home on your warm bed. I would be free of my shackles, and everyone you hurt would not have been hurt. And ask yourself this, if I wasn't hooked up to pipes that drained me of my gyvanium and shrunk my size, could my original size have aided us in our predicament? Because of your foolish decisions, we are even less likely now to ever get back to the children. Regardless, there's another thing I want to show you. It sure looks like you need it. Oh, it's you. Don't worry. I'm unable to hurt you. I'm too weak to do anything. By not listening to me and leaving when you had the chance, you have made a great mistake. Finally, after managing to keep Josh under control, you just had to come around and anger him. Look where your arrogance got us now. A position where neither of us can get to the children. This is your fault and nobody else's. I meant it when I said I would practice the safest of procedures. But regardless, I have something I want to show you. It sure looks like you need it. Say I'm happy to see you alive and well. That crazy leech cannot turn me into one of his minions. But it is still dangerous for me to wander out there. I want you to think of the amount of terror that the children would feel at the sight of even just one of these naughty ones. 
These mindless animals that hate nothing more than they hate humans. At this point I would not eliminate the possibility that they found where I've hid the children. It is your actions that have even made this a possibility in the first place. It's all your fault. Regardless, there is another thing I want to show you. It sure looks like you need it. You have overstayed your welcome here. I even made you an offer, but guess what? Accepting it is long overdue. Don't worry, I won't get rid of you or collect you just yet. I was never one to abide by waste. An old friend needs you a lot more than I do. They too are on a path to achieve peace of mind. I already have more than enough subjects to move forward with my aspiration and my ultimate mental refinement. You just take a little nap while I transfer you to where you're meant to be. You've had a rough day. I can tell. You diligently wait for the moment you leave this wretched place with your child in hand. I can also tell. Not to undermine your effort, but I fear that moment may never come. I cannot let it happen. And I will gladly show you why, but after I do, you take my advice. Leave this place while you still can. Erase it from your memory. Move on and forget any of this ever happened, and I promise you, tomorrow will be a